Is getting angry a sin? Please. Getting angry, in and of itself, is not always considered a sin according to Christian teachings. The Bible provides various contexts in which anger is discussed, and it distinguishes between righteous anger and unrighteous or sinful anger. 1. Righteous anger. Righteous anger is an emotion experienced in response to sin, injustice, or wrongdoing. Jesus himself displayed righteous anger, notably when he overturned the tables of the money changers in the temple, Matthew 21 verses 12 to 13. This act demonstrated his passion for the purity and reverence of his father's house. Similarly, in Mark 3 verse 5, Jesus looked around at the people in anger, deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts. 2. Unrighteous anger. Unrighteous anger, also known as sinful anger, is typically driven by selfishness, pride, or personal offense. Ephesians 4 verses 26 to 27 states, In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. This passage implies that while anger can be a natural response, it's important not to let it lead us into sin. 3. Causes of sinful anger. Several factors can lead to sinful anger, pride, when our ego is hurt or when we feel that our rights are violated. Selfishness, when we don't get what we want or when things don't go our way. Jealousy, feeling resentful towards someone's success or blessings. Impatience, not being able to tolerate delays or inconveniences. Unforgiveness, holding on to grudges and past offenses. Lack of self-control, allowing emotions to overpower rational thinking. 4. Biblical Guidelines on Anger Quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry, James 1 verses 19 to 20 advises, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Forgiveness over anger, Ephesians 4 verses 31 to 32 says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Avoid retaliation, Romans 12 verse 19 encourages, Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. 5. Jesus' Teaching on Anger The Sermon on the Mount, Jesus gave a profound teaching on anger in Matthew 5 verses 21 to 22, You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, You shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, You fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Resolution before worship, in Matthew 5 verses 23 to 24, Jesus advises, Therefore, if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother or sister has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to them, then come and offer your gift. 6. The Role of the Holy Spirit Fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 highlights the fruit of the Spirit, which includes self-control. With the Holy Spirit's guidance, believers can manage and control their anger better. Avoiding provocation, Proverbs 15 verse 1 advises, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Believers are encouraged to respond to situations in a manner that diffuses anger rather than provokes it. 7. Seeking help and guidance. Counsel and wisdom, Proverbs 19 verse 11 states, A person's wisdom yields patience, it is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Seeking wise counsel and guidance from trusted spiritual leaders can help in managing anger and its underlying causes. Prayer and dependence on God, Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 encourages believers to bring their worries and anxieties to God in prayer, which can also include feelings of anger and frustration. In conclusion, while getting angry is a natural human emotion, it is the way we handle and respond to that anger that determines its righteousness. Christians are encouraged to examine the root causes. If you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to our channel.